This is the emergency broadcast system. The CDC is advising that you stay in your home for a whole day. We shall walk. We shall walk. What's going on, everybody? It's ya boy Carbon, and I'm back. I'm back from my week of focus on adulting, and I am ready to talk some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare. But you know what's been crazy lately is that Modern Warfare hasn't been the only game I've been playing. For the first time ever, I'm on like a multi-game kick. I'm on that Modern Warfare grind. I'm on that blackout. Well, kind of. I'm kind of on that blackout grind. I play like a game or so every night just to like get back into it. And then I've been playing for some Escape from Tarkov. I'm absolutely ass at that game. I've put some hours in, but it's so frustrating, but it's so addicting at the same time. It's just crazy. But today I wanted to talk about a specific topic, and that is maps in Modern Warfare. Today I decided to get a little bit of Modern Warfare on early in the morning just to you know get a little bit more of that double xp and i was wondering why i keep after a couple hours wanting to get off this game and it seemed pretty simple it's the maps now most of you guys know i play search and destroy i love search and destroy and thanks to skill based matchmaking i'm always against a team that has some freaking skill like it's always a competitive match and i love that i absolutely love it since considering the fact that we do not have a league play or anything Search and Destroy is a competitive game in its own, but to make it a little bit more competitive, it just makes it for a great gameplay. Now, there's a lot of 66 maps. There are. There's a lot of good ones, and there are some bad ones. And if you guys have watched me or known me since Modern Warfare has come out, you guys know that Gunrunner and Hackney Yard are my two favorite maps to play. They just work so beautifully with Search and Destroy, and it seems like I never get to play them. Like, ever. It, maybe once a day and that's that's being modest you know once a day but when i put my grind on and i put the hours in it seems like the only maps i'm playing are not the ones i want to play but they're so repetitive like azir cave that's almost every other map same thing for arklov peak and it gets very annoying playing these same maps over and over again and then you finally get a little bit of a break and you might get, let's say, Piccadilly, which sucks. Piccadilly sucks, but I still get it more often than I get Hackney Yard or Gunrunner. And then there's Ramaza. I like Ramaza. Ramaza is not a bad map, but it's overplayed. And then there's St. Petrograd. It's overplayed. And I'm just starting to wonder, like, maybe it's time we need that voting system back. You know, I defended the voting system not being in the game when it first came out because there was a lot of new maps a lot of a lot of stuff to learn and i didn't think they wanted the fans to immediately start picking favorites and then completely ignoring some of the new maps and a lot of the thought processes that were behind them but now some months have passed and we've gotten a few new maps we've gotten shoot house i mean we've gotten shipment we've gotten vacant but it's still not a lot of maps compared to what we got to in the very beginning but without the, without the voting system, it seems like I never get to play my favorite maps. Like, it's honestly like, as soon as we get the maps, I like, I, I, I'm in, in such excitement that I actually get to play this map on my favorite game mode. And then it's over in 10 minutes, and then I know I'll probably not get to play it the rest of the day. And that's kind of what's been my demotivator, is I would really like the, the voting system back, especially when I'm playing with friends or other groups that I've joined into, so that way we can play the maps that we want to. But nobody seems to like these maps that keep repeating themselves over and over again, it's like Piccadilly and yeah, Piccadilly. There's just something about Piccadilly. It just doesn't work with Search and Destroy. I mean, it does and it doesn't. It's there's too many angles that can be covered from like one spot. You know what I mean? But it's just it's just overplayed. And Azir Cave. I'm getting really tired of that one. I really am. It's either cave or not cave. It's, as long as one sniper is holding B-bomb on his ear cave and the rest of the team just goes A. So, I don't know. I'm just talking out my ass at this point. What I'm really trying to get down to is I think everybody is with me when I say we need the, the map voting system back. I mean, we don't have very many maps. We have a lot of maps that we've learned to love and learn to hate. But the ones that we don't like very much are the ones that they're really shoving in our face, which is kind of demotivating to play because I know I'll get on... And all I'm going to do is play maps that I, I just don't enjoy. 
but maybe season two is going to bring that back maybe season two is going to bring a ton of maps back but it, just in the past i don't know the past couple years we've kind of been let down on updates so i don't think we expect a lot but with all these other games you literally see all these other games people are playing and they are getting everything the fans want you know they're getting updates like crazy they're just getting mass updates things that they want so we've come to learn you know as a gaming community that that's what we expect from a game and when we're not getting it it you know the game kind of comes dull i'm not saying modern warfare is getting dull but season one was way too long all right so i don't think seasons need to be as long as they are right now i i mean especially with it being extended another week you know, I was on a time frame of, uh, you know, if I play this many hours here, I can get to max rank and mass, uh, max battle pass tiers. And now there's another week. So I'm like, eh, I got a week. I don't really have to play. I guess I can go play some blackout or some, you know, escape from Tarkov. But yeah, season, season two. I hope it's, I hope it's big. I hope it's, you know, bigger than season one. And hopefully it comes with a lot of updates of, you know, things that the fans are asking for such as the voting system. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I just kind of wanted to get on, let you guys know I'm back, let you guys know a little bit of a feeling or a thought process that I had this morning. I didn't really have an outline of how this video was gonna go. I just hit record and started talking. So I hope you guys are ready for uh, a year of Call of Duty, a whole new year, 2020. It's gonna be insane. At least I hope it does, as long as YouTube uh, plays ball with their creators. You know, they, they enjoy us and we enjoy them, which is almost never happening. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what I did wrong. You guys always do. And I'm not a professional gamer, so calm down on the gameplay comments. Like, some of you guys are getting really angry at some simple background gameplay. I mean, it's it's humorous, but it's also like, Jesus Christ, some of you guys need a hug. But guys, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what I did wrong. You guys always do. It's your boy Carbon. Peace.